Okay. So this morning, we want to know who else do you think the Sun should bring back in free agency? Send us a text, 602-444-1212. Maybe extend someone, maybe bring in a new free agent, whatever you think. Technically, these deals cannot become official until Friday, but CP3 himself tweeted out that he is coming back to Phoenix, saying, quote, run it back. And he is not the only one, according to several reports. First, Chris Paul's backup at point guard, Cameron Payne, a major part of the Suns' playoff run, and very important player now with Chris Paul being 36 years old. The Suns are set at the point guard department for the next few seasons after this signing. And then this one could also be huge. Free agent center JaVale McGee, the NBA journeyman who's, been, who's won two championships with Golden State and then another with the Lakers. He's currently in Tokyo competing for Team USA. Multiple agencies are reporting he has signed a one-year deal with the Suns. But even though it's not official, his Twitter feed eh, looks pretty convincing. <laughs> so, who do you think the Suns should be signing in free agency? Brandon on Facebook, he jumps in and says, keep the team we have and let's run it back. If it's not broke, then don't fix it. So, Maybe what Brandon's talking about is bring back the guys like CP3, Cameron Payne, which they've cool, already yeah. done. The, the other part of this is that you're talking about DeAndre Ayton needing an extension here pretty soon. Yeah. So maybe that could be a place they throw some money. Uh, he's on the books for next year, but the okay. year after that, you know, you don't really want things to get to the 11th hour because then anything can happen. Someone can swoop in if he has a great year. So anyway, that, that's all a possibility if you want to keep the core together. All right. Smart decisions. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you had to figure out a way to, to get Chris Paul yeah. back, and he wanted more than just one year. I think yeah. he, you know, at this point, wants to finish his career here. Which I think would be awesome. So, I mean, yeah. 40 years old is his contract will end. Yeah. Uh, hard to imagine someone going much past that in the world of the NBA, although Tom Brady turned 44 today. Jeez. So he's different. That guy's just built different. It's not really a comparison. No.